What we're going to tackle today is a little bit of a problem we've been noticing coming over time. This entire row, I know it's difficult to see on camera, this entire row, there's 16 missing rivet heads going past the end of the cabinet. And we know that this was loose at one point. We've already resecured this. We don't really understand exactly what happened. We're wondering if this loose cabinet possibly affected this and everything is just kind of jiggled a little bit enough to shake these rivet heads off. My goal is to repair this by replacing all of these interior rivets that have come off. I may have a better idea of why they're doing it by the time I'm done. I'm not sure. I may just be replacing the rivet heads and hoping it doesn't happen again. What I'm going to do is loosen the cabinet. Hopefully I can lower it about three or four inches onto some boxes so I don't have to fully, fully remove it. I'm not sure. I need to get in here and investigate, but I'm not. It's possible that the movement in this cabinet, which we uh, resecured a couple months ago, was transferring some movement here and possibly shaking this loose. Again, hopefully when I get in here, I can figure out what's going on. I've located a couple totes that'll allow me to drop this cabinet about five or six inches, but it'll keep it so that Shauna doesn't have to hold the weight awkwardly while I'm working on the rivets above. First, I'm gonna disconnect the exhaust hood. I'm hoping that I don't have to disconnect it from the upper cabinet and I can just have it rock together. I'm trying to get away with not undoing any electrical either. I can see four screws across the back and four screws attaching across the top. It's possible there's more screws I can't see, but I'm gonna start with the first eight that I can. All right, there were no surprises there. It really was just the eight screws holding it on and there was nothing holding it to the next one over. So I've got my rivet line exposed and I'll be able to start drilling those out and replacing them. Putting in the last rivet now, but what's not clear to me is what's going on with the rivets, why they're popping off. We've got the vertical ribs that go up over up the walls and over the top, and then we've got the minor ribs that run horizontal. It seemed like there was a little bit of a gap between this sheet and the rib behind it. I don't know if that was enough space to allow movement or or what. I'm I'm still unclear on why these are coming loose. I'd like to try to get on one of the middle ones first. Uh, wait, we got to make sure this plenum for the, the vent is right. Okay. I think that's in there. Okay. I find it concerning that it's only eight screws holding up this giant heavy cabinet and that's without anything in it. Mm -hmm. It's not even lagged into the cabinet next to it. No, that surprised me. The lack of connection to the cabinet next to it. That should be safe for um, a moment while we continue. It's going surprisingly well with six out of eight screws in. I was wondering if they'll find the hole they were in before when it's into the curve like this. I'm sort of concerned that there's only eight screws holding up all that weight and then... There's two more below the hood for a total of ten, although I'm not sure how much structure they provide. Just rechecking these screws and some of them are loose again. Got to figure out how to get to the bottom of that. It's clear now that these two cabinets are not actually attached to each other. So this one and the rivets above it, I guess is a separate issue that, to this one coming loose. So if you have any ideas about why this cabinet may be having issues pulling down the rivets, pulling the wall down, 
I guess leave a comment because I'm I'm a little bit stumped.